What is up, guys? This is Ason and Dragon giving you another episode of the Lionheart Podcast. Yo, what's going on, guys? All right, so in this episode of the Lionheart Podcast, we're going to talk about NXT of uh, May 18th. Um, the show was pretty good, actually. I, I mean, I actually sat there and watched it. Like, I don't often sit. Uh, I can't. I, for some reason, when I watch Raw, I can't sit there and just watch the whole show. Same for SmackDown, but for NXT, I actually did it, and, and I actually enjoyed it. But um, let's talk about uh, NXT. Let's talk about the first match. We had Austin Aries and I still can't pronounce this nigga name. <laughs> it was in Suke Nakamura uh, versus Suke Blake Nakamura. and Murphy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, versus, they went against man. Blake and Murphy. He has a uh, um, Nakamura. He has a moveset. And yeah, Nakamura has a. Fight. I'll be being 2K17 because if he do, I know 2K might give him a good ass moveset. He has a really good moveset. Like, uh, throughout the match, he was just throwing kicks around. I think the one that got pinned was uh, Murphy. I think Murphy got pinned. He was just throwing kicks around. And at the end, when um he went, he, okay, he was in attacking Austin Ayers, but then I guess, uh what's his name, Shinsuke? Yeah, I, I still can't pronounce it. But uh, Shinsuke, he couldn't, well, he, he was getting pumped up. And so at the end, he decided to run and hit his finisher, and that was it. That ended the whole match. But then uh, at the end, uh, you know, Alexa Bliss, she got pissed off because she was like, uh, Okay, this is my first time watching NXT in a while, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming the, this team hasn't really been winning that much. According to Alexa Bliss, she was like, uh, I'm sick of the team losing, yada, yada, yada. And she just walked out on them, pretty much. She just literally walked out on them. And then um, Blake looked at Murphy like he was crazy. Left them high and dry. Yep, she just left them high and dry. And she looked, she looked so pissed off when they lost. She was, she looked, that face was, ugh. And uh, later during the show, like, they had a little backstage segment. And Alexa was like, she's tired of carrying them on her, on her back. She's tired of carrying 400 and some, you know, she was pretty much saying she's tired of carrying both of them on, on her back. And she wanted to focus on the uh, NXT Diva, well, NXT Women's Championship. Y'all niggas are holding me down. I can't do this no more. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that she pretty much walked out. And they looked at each other face to face. And that's when they just moved on with the show. But, um, Austin Ayers yeah. and, uh, what's his name, Shinsuke, that's a pretty good team like if they're if, if they're I, I don't think they're an oh, official yeah. team but if they if they like if they if they were that's a dominant you know combination right there well after Austin Aries tried to get that tag in and uh he didn't tag them in you know they they there seemed like there was you know Austin Aries wasn't upset because they won but the same well, time, hey hey dragon hold like, that hold that one hold that thought one second hey uh, move, uh get close to your mic my bad. Uh, hello? There we go. That's better. That's better. Go ahead. What you were saying? Okay. I said, uh, I said, uh, um, <laughs> Austin Aries wasn't mad because they picked, uh, they were able to pick up the win, but, uh, Nakamura, you know, uh, he was just like, you know, why did you tag me in, man? You know, I had my hand up. You know, I shared a sugar pretty much. But, I mean, yeah, it would be a nice tag team. I can see it. Right, I hope you understood what Dragon said because it was kind of, <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's see. What happened after that? What was the second match on NXT? Right, we had Carmella, Carmella versus Peyton Royce. Um, the match was, you know, it was pretty much back and forth. Peyton Royce, she went for this. I like this move she did. It was like a, a it was kind of like, it was kind of like the Three Amigos, but she kind of modified it. At the end, she turned it to turn like she turned it to a uh, fisherman suplex. But at the end, Carmella, she ended up hitting this flatliner move, and she ended up doing an inverted, uh, what is it called, the inverted triangle, and that move looked. Crazy, and I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming it's a new move. It's kind of like when a Sami Zayn did, but it's like you know times ten. Yeah, it's kind. Of, yeah, it, it reminded me of the uh, the Kobe clutch when I first saw it, but it's like it was pretty much her version of it, kind of. And it's called the inverted triangle. It's pretty, and I, I'm I'm glad you know she's still doing good without Enzo and um Big Cass, cause like you know she, after watching that match. After watching that match, that pretty much showed, well, for a long time, a lot of people pretty much knew she, she has potential on her own, you know, uh, to getting that NXT Women's Championship. You know, she she doesn't have to have Big Cass or Enzo on her back. She's still repping them, but, you know, she's pretty much on her own now. And she's doing pretty good, in my opinion. So. Yeah, she, uh, she, uh, she has a future in the company, I see it. Wow. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> she does. 
Let's see what else we had. We had a uh, okay. They showed a a, um, um, a highlight from Finn Balor and Samoa Joe signing a contract for the um, NXT Takeover on June eighth. Um, that uh, oh yeah, did, did, I'm watching that. Did, I'm this match that. is gonna be intense for real, man. These two are fighting in a steel cage match. The, it, it's the first ever steel cage match for NXT. That's gonna be intense. Who you going for in that match, Dragon? Yeah, I'm watching that. Oh man, I. Sadly, I think I'm going to pull up for Samoa Joe this week. Hey, Jack, get, get, close, get closer to your mic. You know, I sound for Samoa Joe. Okay. Um, I, I honestly don't know who's going to win. I th- I want I kind of I want Joe to win. Yeah, I think Joe's going to win. Let me let me. Yeah, I, I think I, I agree with you. I think Joe's going to win. I don't think they're going to let Finn Balor win it again. It's possible, but I just think Joe. I think Joe is going to win. I just think it's time for Finn Balor to move on to the main roster. That's hey, I, I heard a rumor he didn't want to go. On, he he didn't want he didn't want to go into the main roster yet because uh, I guess he. Oh wanted, yeah, it's, that, that rumor's true. Yeah, he said yeah. that he's not ready to move on. Yeah, he's not ready to move on to the main roster. That's why he wanted to stay on NXT. But I mean, I I have no problem with that to be honest. As long as he's putting on some good matches, which I know he's probably gonna do, and I, I'm fine with that. Heck, a lot of people in. Heck, you you got guys like Tyler Breeze and uh, what's his name Neville. Hell, 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 most of their matches anyway was better off on NXT. So, I kind of want Finn Balor to stay on NXT. Go back to NXT, bitch. Is what they want saying. Yeah. Go back to NXT. Yeah. But um, anyway, uh, in the next match we had. This is a new tag team, actually. Tommaso Ciampa, I don't know if I said it right, and Johnny Gargano versus Rob Ryzen and Danny Burch. Now, uh, Rob Ryzen and Danny Burch, they're pretty much like a local tag team, in my opinion. They went against this new tag team of NXT, um, Tommaso and Johnny, and that match was just, man, I haven't, okay, when I sat here and watched this match, like, when I used to watch TNA back then, you, I don't know if you guys might remember the Motor Machine Guns, um, I like how they used to always be quick with their moves, and they do all these different variations of tag team moves, and that's what they did in this match. They did a shitload of tag team moves, and they were just so quick. And I would, and, and when I see stuff like that, that keep me watching the show, and that that's what kept me, you know, watching. Oh, yeah, the show. That was a good ass man. Yeah, they did like they did all kinds of stuff. I, it's not even in my head right now, but I remember like they did all kinds of crazy stuff. They did, I think they did this double knee. This it, it was like a knee and a kick at the same time with someone head in the middle. It was crazy. But they ended up winning a match. It was a pretty good match. Yeah, I would actually love to see that on two K. I would love to see that on two K. Oh yeah. And all right, let's get into the main event: Nia Jax versus Bailey. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Whew. Oh man. If you oh, want to talk about God. domination, you had and Nia Jax. She straight up destroyed Bailey. First off, um, well, <clears throat> Bailey. She tried to come back, but it, it just didn't work. She had t- attempt was pretty good, but it just didn't work. First off, at one point in the match, Bailey tried to put Nia Jax in the headlock, but Nia Jax, she was like, hell no. Nah. She just threw Bailey into that second turn buckle. After that, I thought that was it, because Bailey, like, she was she looked, she looked, was straight up knocked out. I thought that was it, but then she kicked out. And then throughout the match, um, I think in the past, Bailey had, like, a she injured her arm or something like that, and uh, Nia Jax was working on Bailey's arm throughout the whole match. She was doing leg drops on her arm. I think she did a... um. It's like a it's like a modified arm and body slam. Like you put their arm behind their back and body slam them or something like that. She was just working on that arm. And at one point, uh, I think when uh Bailey reversed one of her moves, like her leg, her leg, her knee started acting up. And then uh referee was trying to check on her, and she was like, "Yeah, I can continue or whatever." And all of a sudden, Nia Jax just ran and she gave her a big ass King Kong Bundy splash. And then she started working on that arm. I think she started. I think she did something to her leg. Yeah, she she leg dropped her leg. And after that, she just ran back to the rope and leg dropped her head, and that was it. Like she leg dropped right on top of you know like the back of her head, just she boom. That reverse Hulk Hogan. Yep, that, that was it right there. That was it. She did that reverse leg drop pretty much. She leg dropped. Yeah, Hulk Hogan, you know he would have been proud. <laughs> Man, that, that was that was game. That was it. But hey, yeah, hey, hey, hey here's what I gotta say about this whole uh, Nia Jax thing. I like Nia Jax like as a you know wrestler because. She's dominant, and, you know, WWE, they need a, a, a dominant female. They have that, but they don't have that, you know. Wait, okay, you, you don't have a diva like Beth Phoenix. You don't have an awesome Kong-type diva. You don't have a China-type diva. And uh, what's her name? Nia Jax, she's per. Whenever she's at the main roster, I think she's going to make an impact because they don't have like, that type I, of diva. Well, yeah, women. I didn't even know she was related to, uh, you know, the Rain, the Rock Johnson. I didn't know that. Yeah, she's the, the she's Rock, I didn't know. yeah she's related to uh the Rock and uh the Usos yeah they all related I think the Rock's mom is her auntie yeah the Rock's mom is her auntie and the Rock is her cousin yeah 
But Nia Jax, she she a beast. Yeah, yeah. She I think she got a big future ahead of her. She keep dominating people like that. Oh yeah. And I'm not sure if uh. I, I, oh yeah, man. What you're saying? Like it's been a while since I've seen a woman like you know with her size and her strength. You know she's very strong. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. She was man. I ain't gonna say man handling. Well, she was she was handling barely like she was <laughs> she was handling barely with so much strength. Like one, at one point, Bailey had her in the, uh, the sleeper hole, and she just threw her off like with ease, and Bailey just slammed down on that mat like so hard. You heard the noise, like ooh, like boom, it was just crazy. Yeah, this really is gonna bring something different to the women's division. I'm not sure if Nia Jax went against uh, Oscar. Yeah, I want to see that match happen. I think that's gonna be a really good match. Nia Jax versus Oscar. Like Oscar's the current uh, women's champion, by the way, Dragon, if you remember. The uh, NXT Women's Champion. Yeah, she's the current NXT Women's Champion. Yeah, you mean, yeah, yeah. But yeah. When they, you said Women's Champion, I'm like, oh, uh, when did Charlotte lose? Oh, no, no, I say NXT. You probably didn't hear me because it, it might have been a connection issue or something. But, um, but, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That was the show. I, I can't wait. I, I'm, actually, I'm actually excited for next week's show, man. I actually sat here and watched the whole thing, and I and I enjoyed it. Yeah, it kept my attention. I'm not gonna lie, it really did kept my like, it kept my you know attention span going. And that's something that 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 just something I can't do with Raw and SmackDown. I can a little bit with Raw, but SmackDown, hell no, nah, you you tripping? I can't watch SmackDown. Boring. <laughs> SmackDown is just boring. SmackDown is boring. But um, that's pretty bad. Oh, anything else you want to say, Dragon? Cause he probably wanted to say something. Oh, uh, not really, man. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> you good? I mean, uh, just. What's next for Bailey? I guess pretty much. That's like my really my only question. What's next for her? Knowing that she got the, you know destroyed tonight. I'm not sure if uh, Bailey's facing Oscar at the next uh, takeover. Uh, she might be because they had, they had a match for the championship and she might end up getting a rematch for it. I guess she might have had it. Like like I said, guys, I ain't watching NXT in a while, so I'm still trying to catch up. So, but she might be facing Oscar at the next takeover. What I really want to see is Nia Jax versus Oscar. Uh, That's gonna be a good match right there. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. I think, uh, Nia, if that match didn't happen, I think Nia Jackson would take it home, though. Oh, yeah. If Nia, if Nia Jackson become an NXT Women's Champion, oh, yeah, she going to dominate. She already, dom- she, she's like, she's dominating now. But with that championship, they're going to make her look more dominant than she was, you know, now. With, than she is now. <laughs> they're going to be, man, you know, she can rock the look. You know, we got to give her a title, too. Wait, wait, say that again? <laughs> Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I, I don't know what's going on. Dragon voice sound really low. Like something's going on. I said, say that one more time, Dragon. I said Triple H is gonna be like, uh, you know, it, it, you know, she's uh, the Rock Blood. We have to give her a title too. Oh wow. But that's about it, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. What you saying? I said, you know, that's pretty much how a company works, though. You know, she's going to get that little push, you know, because, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say I mean, it. I mean, I... Okay, guys. If y'all if y'all hear Drag, he pretty much was saying that she's gonna get that push eventually, just because you know she she's related to the Rock and you know her her family might have had some successes in the re- in wrestling or whatever. I mean, man, I mean, if she wasn't you know known for her size or whatever, I think she might have been treated possibly like the. I mean, she I think she might have gotten the push eventually, but I think the thing that make her more dominant not because she related to you know the Rock or whatever, it's because of what she can do in the ring. And based off how she looked, like she's she she you know she got the size for it to be that dominant diva, and she got the move set for it. But she probably been trained. She probably was trained. Yeah, that's by, true. She probably was trained by like most of her family. Well, a few of her family members, like you know, possibly The Rock, or she might have got learned a couple of moves from the Usos. You know, it, it, the list goes on. It could have been some other random random wrestlers out there. You know, you been like, Let me teach you how to do the people's elbow. Hell no, she ain't gonna do that. She gonna do a people's leg drop. <laughs> That's what she gonna do. <laughs> a people's leg drop. People's leg drop. <laughs> nah, yep. Yeah. But um, uh, well, that's about it, guys. Thank y'all for watching this podcast. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode of the Lionheart Podcast. We're probably gonna uh do the next episode on Raw, which will be Monday. So stay tuned for that, y'all. Wait, 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 wait. Extreme Rules this Sunday. So we gonna do Extreme Rules. 
Oh, yeah, 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 Extreme Rules. We're going to do that. We're we going to do Extreme Rules on Raw next week and NXT as well. Maybe SmackDown. It depends if, you know, me and Dragon agree to do it. But uh, thank y'all. And it, you might do the spoilers, maybe. Yeah, maybe the spoilers. If you guys want the spoilers, if you guys want us to talk about SmackDown, just leave that in the comments because I, I don't mind doing it. You know, it, it's based off of, I'm, we're, men, we're we're guys of the people. We're men of the people. So whatever y'all want, just comment down below. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all leave a like and subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe to Dragon Channel. I'm going to leave that in the description. And subscribe to my channel too. I'm trying to hit that 2K sub soon. And thank y'all for watching. Peace.